Chumley is usually presented as a person with a goofy personality, but he is definitely smart when it comes to making business transactions. He has profited the gold and silver pawn shop in significant amounts. So, here is a list of 5 Chumley deals that made the pawn shop millions. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Comic Books Collection Chumley is considered to be a huge fan of comic books, and it is generally said that his face would sort of lift up whenever he sees the comic books. It was probably his lucky day when a woman came into the gold and silver pawn shop with seven boxes of comic books in total that belonged to her uncle who had recently passed away. Jim Lee, without evaluating how much the comics might be worth, made a deal with the woman for a total of $500. Later, when the expert was called in, it was revealed that the comic books, in fact, aren't that rare. This surely did make Rick Harrison very angry, but if Jim Lee were to sell all of those comics, which happened to be in a huge amount, he would still be definitely able to make profits off of it. 1930s Pinball Machine Jim Lee comes to the rescue in many cases where his expertise outsmarts the expertise of the other person working in the gold and silver pawn shop. Though it's very difficult to actually be able to defeat the old man Harrison when it comes to making better decisions, Jim Lee in this particular case was able to assist him substantially. When a customer came into the pawn shop with a pinball machine back from the 1930s, Old Man Harrison was not thrilled at all, and it could have been guessed from his attitude that he was in no mood of making a deal. But when Chum Lee talked through using his knowledge of the pinball machine, a deal was struck at $1,000, despite the fact that in the customer's initial demand of $5,000, Chum Lee was able to differentiate between minted and non-minted pinball machines. And as he told the people who listen over there, that since this particular pinball machine is not minted, its value substantially drops. 1986, Buick Regal. Pawn Stars are fans of collecting items themselves, and when it comes to working at the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop, they get a front row seat in getting to discover some of the best and rarest materials out there. Jem Lee is also one of them, as he loves collecting different stuff for himself and working at the pawn shop allows him to do exactly that. This specific time, when Corey Harrison and Chum Lee were visiting a customer who was willing to sell his Buick Regal from the late 80s, Chum Lee couldn't stop himself from purchasing this piece of art. The events turned out in a very dramatic way when Corey initially was able to strike a deal with the owner of the car for about $1,500. But, Suddenly, Chum Lee offered to pay a total of $2,000 out of his own pocket so that he could keep the vehicle for himself. He obviously got the car and was able to take it to his repairmans, who took good care of Chum Lee's new piece in his collection. Nike Air Jordans Chum Lee is a huge fan when it comes to shoes, and Air Jordans precisely are his favorites amongst his collection of shoes. He is said to have a collection of over 200 pairs of shoes, which definitely means that he knows a legit shoe when he is presented with one. Once, when a customer walked into the gold and silver pawn shop claiming that he had vintage Air Jordans to sell, when Chumley took a closer look at the shoes, he was able to tell that the shoes were actually from 2009, and they weren't that old. After hearing that the shoes weren't vintage pieces, Corey backed out of the deal, but Chum Lee came over and bought the shoes for a very low price of $75 only. Fans still speculate that Chum Lee practically ripped off the customer, and that he could have made a lot more if he had gone to someone else other than that one at the Gold and Silver Pond. Salvador Dali Structure Everyone is doomed to make mistakes, but when your mistakes start making profits, they don't seem to be that bad. Once when a woman came into the gold and silver pawn shop claiming to be in possession of a sculpture made by the legendary Salvador Dali, it was obvious for Chum Lee that he had to hear her out. The problem with this entire venture was that the woman did not have any paperwork with her that could prove that this piece was actually an original, and since she was also in a hurry, she said that she couldn't wait for experts to come in and have a look. 
to which this meant that Chumley was left with no choice but to make a decision of either buying it or rejecting it, which he then accepted, and let me tell you that this sort of act led to Rick being very infuriated by Chumley's decision, especially when it turned out that the artifact was actually a fake one. But even with that, the Pawn Stars estimated that they could at least sell it for a couple of hundreds, more as a decoration piece. Well, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then let us know by giving it a thumbs up. We will see you in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye!